Cool beans. The beans are cool. (laughs) Ah, welcome back, everyone. Hope we're doing all right. Uh, It's that time of the month. Right. So it's November. October was pretty rad. And I'm going to share with you what's been going on, how I've been feeling, and some favourite things. So the first thing that I just want to talk about, um, which has been probably the highlight of the highlight potentially of the year maybe is my music is finally out into the universe and it was exciting it was terrifying it's out now and I am I'm I'm all about I'm I'm just so happy I'm just over the moon uh it's been a it's been crazy so if you didn't know already I have started a new band music project with um my friend Ben he's probably one of my best best friends. Um, Me and Ben were in a band together previously called Box of Light and um, that was my previous music venture and that kind of fizzled out as some of these things do, especially when you're growing up and everyone else has got like different things going on in their life. And me and Ben have been kind of casually writing music together for the past two years. Last November was, so a year ago now, shit, was when we decided that we wanted to go and record and we wanted to see a producer to help us basically turn our vision into a reality and because there's only two of us sometimes it's quite difficult to basically fabricate or materialize what we want so we've got all these ideas in our head we know exactly what we want to sound like but we just needed a basically a little helping hand to get there and we met Adrian he instantly knew what we wanted and what we were about And it was like a match made in heaven, basically. So we recorded with Adrian two tracks last November, one of which was Be Cool. We have since recorded another three tracks with him over the summer. Ah! (laughs) But Be Cool is now out, and I'm so happy with it. At the beginning of October, we shot our music video. I came up with the concept. Uh, I organised the whole thing and edited the whole thing. Um, Andrew filmed it, and we just made a really, really great team. I think it it was just work just went really smoothly and came together and it was exactly how I envisioned it to look and be. I am so happy with it. So Be Cool is now out over all of the streaming services. You can buy it, you can stream it, you can watch the music video on YouTube. Here's a little clip of it. Blown in the breeze just because it said doesn't make it right. Tell me that I'm wrong instead of fearing the bite Realize, be cool I was so nervous leading up to the release because I think when you've already done like a music venture and it's been out online and been part of your previous, uh, been part of my online life previously so much, I was just kind of anticipating people to kind of directly compare it to my old band Box of Light. Also, because music has always been something that I've done since I was a child, I feel way more vulnerable like releasing music than releasing anything else like creative. Um, Me and Ben have been, I suppose mine and Ben's music style is a mixture of indie dream pop and country, a real heavy country influence and Americana because that's something that we both really love. And we always said we wanted to make music that we really enjoy ourselves. We're not bothered about what's trendy or what's cool or whatever like that, what will make us popular. It's just about what we want to create. And in terms of like songwriting and lyrics, I've it's just mostly been focusing on like growing up in your 20s, the hardships, the heartbreaks, the relationships, some, some really personal stuff as well. So obviously I've been through quite a lot in the past few years and just getting that almost using songs as like a diary input and hopefully creating something that people can either relate to or they can listen and it applies to them in some way or another. They can put it any into any context. But yeah, because it feels so close to home and raw and whatever, yes, it just feels vulnerable. But it's also really, really exciting because it's something that I'm so happy and passionate about that I'm so happy that it's in the world right now. So that's like probably the highlight of the month slash year but it's out and it's great oh I took up skating I've been wanting to to roller skate for a very very long time never got round to it but also a benefit of this roller skating is I've rekindled a friendship and started hanging out with my friend Nicoletta more because basically she messaged me out of the blue saying Melon 
do you want to start roller skating? No one, like, I, I know it's a bit random, and I'm like, uh, hell yeah, I've been wanting to do this for so, so long. So we've been going to a local skate rink, which actually I live very, very close to. I had no idea that I live around the corner from a skate rink. And um, yeah, we have been skating. These are my skates. I got them because the skate rink hire ones weren't that great. These are a pair of Impalas. I know, I've heard mixed reviews about Impalas online. I bought them because they were pretty and they were like, I followed them on Instagram. <laughs> Sucker. Uh, but since then I've heard some mixed reviews. So far, I've been okay with them. I've not had any problems. They're really nice to skate in. They look fab and they made such a difference. Like the first time I went skating, I hired the skates. Then I put these on and was like blown away by how much of an improvement it was. Um, but they're gorgeous. They're really, really nice. And they've got such a lovely range of skates. But I would just make make your own mind up. Read the reviews yourself and make your own mind up on the skates. They're obviously for me to learn and I'm a beginner. So for me, they do the job. I know that I want to get some moxies because I've heard nothing but good things about moxies. But I don't want to splurge on moxies until I actually get pretty good at skating. So, so far, I'm... I'm mastering going forwards and using my way and the balance and the way my body moves and how to move my feet and just getting more and more confident of going forwards. I'm trying to go backwards as well, but I, I'm I'm quite impatient and I just want to be good at things straight away, which I do find frustrating, a frustrating flaw of mine or personality trait, but I'm getting better at the patience on this side because people tell me like, it does take time, that's cool. Um, but I want to learn some tricks so bad. And it's really annoying that lockdown's happening because just as I was getting into it, can't go. So I'm, I'm thinking about, well, I might practice here in the studio. I have been thinking about pro like hiring out a village hall or, or like a little social club because it's so cheap to hire out a little village hall and just have the place to myself for an evening or with Nick to just skate around and zoom around in. But yeah, if anyone has got any tips or tricks or accounts to follow regarding skating, let me know. I've been following a few people online already. Like I've been watching nothing but skating tutorials or how to go backwards and how to do this on skates. I'm obsessed with it. And it makes me so full of joy to have found something that makes me this like into. I just want to get really good at it. It's fun. It's good exercise. I feel real sassy on my skates. And it just makes me excited about having another skill of developing something. You're never too old to try something new and starting a new hobby honestly is such a mood booster and finding something that you're really into is such a mood booster because I really look forward to doing it and I think about it all the time. So happiness tip number 758. Try it. Not much else really has been happening. I sorted out the office. I don't know if anyone's going to be actually interested in me showing off this new space. Let me know if you want to see my new filming space. Because I'm aware I've done a couple of office tours already. But I've transformed it into more of like a working space. Because before, when I'd get like my PR on like makeup post come through, it just ended up being in a big pile in my spare room. And also I was filming everything in the house again. Which was just, it wasn't creating that separation between work and home life and obviously with lockdown and working from home anyway it just gets really like intense and claustrophobic and I was I had abandoned this space for a while I mean I was using my desk but I thought why don't I just make the most of the space that I have I'm not really using it I, I always in my head thought I've got to keep this half of the office empty for when I want to do shoots and stuff come to think of it my use of spaces have changed my, the way I film stuff is changing all the time. So I thought, well, why don't you just make this space an actually really practical filming space? So it's really good because I've got some shelving behind the camera, which has got all my makeup and hair stuff on, enough space for new post. So it's all there and clear and really organized and great. And I've got this wall, which I've made look as me as Poss, with all my cool artwork and everything, as a lovely backdrop. And I've got this a little desk here to put things on. Bloop, 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 bloop. So I could just sit here and film and chat and put things on. I could do my makeup here. I could film it. I could do my hair here. I literally just filmed a hair thing just now. And the, like, the lighting's all set up. The camera's here. It's just all ready to go. So I could just walk in, press record, all good to go. And it'll help me feel more productive and just creating that separation, which is really nice. I just want the home to be nice and ah. Uh, yeah. and I'm happy it's just good I do outfit stuff in here I'm buzzing I'm really happy about it so yeah uh, done that 
that's great, that's cool. But nothing else, nothing else really. What? Well, nothing else really, no. October has been Halloweeny as hell. I've done quite a bit of Halloween content, which meant by the time it got around to Halloween, I was like, I'm not sick of it, but like, I've Halloweened out. So on actual Halloween, I spent it building a wardrobe. But I did have some really nice Halloweeny celebrations and the house is really festive and I'm keeping it festive until the Christmas decks go up. On to some favorite things. Okay, so, so first things first. Uh, this perfume, which does have a lovely wooden lid, but I always lose lids. Who else is a lo lid loser? I'm always losing lids. It's in my work dressing room somewhere. Um, it's from Clean Reserve. The scent is suede oud. Um, type eau de parfum, family, woody musk. Uh, I'm all about the kind of unisex colognes, because I'm a big fan of quite masculine, masculine smells. Um, I'm always drawn to them. So I always, in these gate days, go for more of like colognes, unisex things, because oh, I don't know, I, I love it. I, I, lo I love I love the depth of this smell. I love that, yeah, that woody musk, which it says it is. It's quite sexy, it's cool, it's, it's strong smelling. I can't get enough of it. And with the clean reserve scents, you can layer them as well. So you can sort of somewhat make your own scent out of them. But I'm I'm been wearing this one all month, love it. Can't get enough of it. It's my go-to at the mo, and I just cover myself in it. It smells great. Another favorite of mine, which is back in my life, which I forgot about, is the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter. Now, I ran out of cleansing oil. I'm a cleansing oil kind of gal. Just lather it on with the oil, hot flannel, hot, rub it all off, because it's just the best way of getting makeup off, I feel. And then a face wash. But I'd run out of my favorite oil, which is the Bare Minerals one. I also love the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Oil as well. Um, so I had to like switch to a micellar gel and a micellar water, which I had in my cupboard. And it just wasn't the same. I don't find micellar water as, just don't get in there as much. And it some was somewhat a bit drying on me, I feel. I, I just don't like it as much as an oil. Anyway, go into the body shop, try to go find some cleansing oil. They only had this. I was like, oh shit, yeah, I haven't used that in a while. Get it. And I just remember why I love it. Essentially, this butter is the oil in a solid form and you only need like a, a little bit and then on like warm, moist hands, right in the eyes, lipstick everywhere, then get a hot flannel, makeup is gone. And then you just wash it with a cleanser, like a foaming cleanser or a face wash. That's essentially just how I do it all the time. But I forgot how good this stuff is. And obviously, because it's Christmas time, uh, Body Shop are doing this as like a gift set. So if you want to get it for a friend or you want to buy yourself a little Christmas tree, so good. The coffee's kicked in now. I'm feeling great. What else? I've shown you my roller skates. My coat, this coat, this check coat. Just gonna show you some pictures from Instagram. This is from a brand called Object and it's a long line jacket in check. And I think because it's been October, the season of autumn and transition, perfect. It's a perfect thickness, heat, the colours in it are so autumnal. I've worn it shit ton this month. I'm probably gonna wear it a shit ton next month, but it's my favourite coat at the moment. It's beautiful. I'm not sure if it's in stock at the moment, but I will put down some alternatives that are very, very similar. It's a gorgeous coat. Ha ha ha! I feel like my wardrobe has been very seasonal or autumnal this month with some of the outfits I've been putting out being like just really basic autumn pumpkin spice bitch. That's what I've been feeling this month. But I loved it. I've loved every second of it. And I'm, I have no regrets. The new dog bed. Ah, so I got this dog bed from the Mellow Dog. Um, I got it because I wanted the girls to have somewhere nice to lay when I'm not letting them on the sofa. Obviously I got the new sofa. Sofa rule is they can only come up when the blanket's down and I don't do it all the time. Just, you know, boundaries. So I got them this lovely bed, which to be honest, they are so happy in. I don't get them trying to jump up on the sofa anymore. They love it in there. It's a, a mellow dog, it's a donut bed. So it, it's got curved sides, or it's got big sides on it and it's really sinky. So when they get in it, they're like proper in it. And it's just, and it's made, it's made for dogs with anxiety or like calms them down. Um, not like my dogs have any of those issues but they it's just good they just love it it's so relaxing I've got two of them now I put one in the living room and one in their big plastic bed because then it just makes it like that and they're in it all the time can't get them out of it they're just so happy in their bed mellow dog bed great there, there's plenty of alternatives out there though um but that's where I got mine from gusto 
I'm loving Gusto at the moment. So I started on with the HelloFresh train. I really, really liked HelloFresh. And then I was getting recommendations for Gusto. And this month I've really been loving Gusto. I like it because there's no food wastage. You get all the portion sizes that you need and all the bits of food that you need. There's less packaging. Everything is recyclable as well. I get to try new recipes of things that I wouldn't really think of to cook because that's another thing like I always would struggle of ideas of what to cook I want to try new exciting balanced good recipes it's, n it's nice and varied what I like about gusto is when I'm trying to be balanced and trying to kind of get my eating habits good it's nice that I can sometimes be a calorie counter I know a lot of people don't agree with that but I do think that sometimes it's nice to just get a rough idea of how many calories a day you're consuming so you can make um, decisions on what you consume and when, etc. So I like with Gusto, there's, a, like, there's more options. That's just my preference. I like that. Um, Joe Wicks also does his Lean and 15 recipes on there as well, so they're quick. But I like to get a variety of different recipes. Before Phil had moved back in, I would do like... Uh, have it for dinner and then they have the leftovers for lunch the next day but now he's back here we just have them for dinner and then I just go out and get a few things for lunch from the supermarket but I'm still sent I'm still spending less money food as I was before which is really nice so it's I'm actually saving money on my food shop too which is great but I love it I, I'm really enjoying it. and then lastly my new kettle and toaster which is from Poodle and Blonde it's a collaboration with Hayden which is a elect appliances company Poodle and Blonde are really cool like 70s style interiors online shop love it it's very much up my street they sent me this gorgeous toaster and kettle I was I got this DM and like wanted to cry because I've always I've wanted it for so long oh but then they keep selling out really fast but I've got some really really great news it is coming back into stock Sunday I think or it might already be back in stock so go follow them on Instagram to get updates on that because either it's going to make a great addition to your kitchen or it's going to make a really great Christmas present. So well, well happy with that. But yeah, that's it really. They're all the favourite things. Um, things that I've watched recently, which I've loved. Queen's Gambit, binge that, was great. We're back, we're still watching Sons of Anarchy in the weekday. Uh, what else have I watched which I've really enjoyed? Ooh, nothing new on the movie front. Have I? I like that Spotify are doing these playlists now, which are like on repeat or um, your favourite. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my on repeat playlist in the description so you could see what I've been listening to non-stop because I could do favourites playlist, but it means I have to keep adding to it, which is fine, but it's just maybe a bit of extra admin that I will probably forget about. Whereas this will have already curated it for me, so you could just see what I'm obsessing over all the time. I will admit, my own song is at the top there, only because it's the only song that we released. <laughs> when I wrote in Sunny Bones, it just kept playing it over and over and over again and I wasn't aware of it. Um, also, Phil keeps playing it as well. Let's listen to your song again. Okay. So you can see what I've been listening to over and over again. That's about it, everybody. Oh God, I need to pee. I need to pee. Lastly, I'm doing Vlogmas. I'm gonna film every single day in December. I'm gonna do it. Wish me luck. <laughs> see you later. Bye bye.